Hey guys, this is Anthony, the brake specialist. This is a 2019 Prado 150 with about 27,000 Ks on it. There's nothing wrong with the brakes, but this one's gonna be all about brakes. Everything I've got for you as a brake specialist. Now, just because you watch this video doesn't mean you know everything about brakes. And I always recommend and suggest you go ahead and watch all the other videos, especially anything we've got on brakes, because I can't include decades and decades of information and experiences in this video that you want to be short, but I need it to go for hours. So we're gonna try and uh, keep it to about 10 minutes. Have you got 10 minutes for me? Can you sit tight for 10 minutes? All right, let's get on with it. I'll do a bit of editing for you, try and keep it short. Now, the first thing about brakes is, as I said, it's a matter of life and death. So if you're not sure, you've got no idea, please don't touch it, take it to a specialist, okay? If you do your own brakes, or you've done them before and you insist, you know, you've got to do, you're better than the closest guy you can find, which yeah, I can understand, it's hard to find people to do, even simple things like brakes, and these are quite simple, but there is a matter a number of things that can go wrong to be avoided. So let's start off with the basics in our first 10 minutes. There's probably some other videos on brakes on our channel. Please search our channel. Don't watch other people's channels. You're just gonna get confused. Now, uh, we can if you like, just advice, right? Now, brake pads, okay, so what are brake, yeah, we've got our, these are our calipers here. Right, the pistons are in the calipers, two here, two, two here, so it's a four, what they call a four piston caliper, right? It's a fixed caliper, it's not floating, it hasn't got slides, so we don't need to check any maintenance there. It all comes down to these pistons, it all comes down to these boots. Nothing wrong with these boots, pads, pistons or anything. Where there's a problem is when someone else changes your pads and they get in here and they scratch or damage one of these boots and then the dirt, dust and debris. See the dirt sitting there? It's got to stay on the outside, not on the inside. Everything will be fine with Toyota quality components as long as all that dirt stays on the outside. Okay, once there's a hole, the tiniest little hole or leak, that's where you're going to have problems and these pistons are going to get tight. Now, to check your brakes, which is part of every service, every 10,000 Ks, you're checking how much meat you've got. This is the backing plate, the blue part, right? This part here, I'm just going to turn the rotor again like I normally do. That's your brake rotor turning. These pads, they clamp on the rotor to stop the vehicle, right? This is your lining material, how much meat you got left, right? There's around about, when they're new, let's just call it about 10 mil. Every brake pad varies a little bit, some are under, some are over. There's about 10 mil, and what do we got, we got there? We've still got about 10 mil, nowhere, because we drive right. You've seen our driving. We don't tailgate. Watch the videos. We don't tailgate, we don't, you know, we don't, we plan ahead. Look, there's a red light, get off the gas. Let the vehicle start slowing down. Better for the environment, better for the cost, better for the longevity of the vehicle. You're thinking, get on with it. Let's get on with it. So what's going on with this vehicle? We've had some brake squeal videos. We've done those. There's a solution on the 120. The CRC disc brake quite worked. Um, on the back of the 150, we've applied that um, hot copper ease to the rear brakes. I believe that helped, if not stopped it. It's hard to tell because we've still got a very loud squeal, which I haven't paid too much attention, but I believe it may be coming from the front here, right? The front rotors. So what we're going to do on this vehicle to keep it all same is a bit of R&T. And, R and That's research and tell you. Research, RTU, research and tell you. We're going to whip these pads out. So I'm going to show you how to remove these clips. Get these pads out. We're going to put a little bit of copper grease on the backing plates and the back of the pads, and we're going to pop them back in. Shouldn't take too long. Let's get in position and get the job done. Okay, so I've got a bit of a tripod in my way, and I'm not turning the steering. I'm leaving it all squared facing forward. You can make it easier by turning it so this comes out and gives you a bit more room, but I'm not going to do that. Now, the basics are we need to remove this. This is the clip that re retains i just use side cutters because, look, we're not cutting anything, and this I'm quite awkward here, but we just need to get that clip out of the brake pad there, and then see how it pops out of the pins. Can you see that in the picture? I'm so close. It's, yeah, it's borderline. Yeah, you can actually, Joe. And that's what retains these pins. See how easy they pop out, more or less, okay? So, again, don't do this if you don't fully understand the risks, okay? So we're just going to use that, push that, that pin back like that. We're not good. We don't need to take it all the way out, right? We're going to take it out. We're going to just leave it. So you can take it out. There it is out. You can clean it and polish it all you like. It's not very old and there's no point, but you can do that if you like. If it's old, it might be worthwhile. I'm going to bring this one back all the way. Again, it comes out just as easy, but I'll just leave it sitting in the caliper there. So then I know where it is. This one, this is like an anti-squeal clip. Well, obviously it doesn't work, right? Um, because what this does, and it spreads the pads out a little bit. So it's a, kind of like a spring so it's got to go back in position as well now, right? See that? So we'll show you, we'll put that back on in a minute. All right, so there's nothing holding the pads in. If you're replacing the pads, you need to put the push, push the pistons back in, but 
that's another video. We're not doing that here. We're making this is the quick one. This is the first one. We're going to have other ones. I'm trying to keep it down in time. So just going to slip these out. Now what I'm going to do is go and put a bit of uh, copper grease over those areas there. And I'm also going to take this backing plate off here and put a little bit between there and there. So I'm going to go and do that. And I'll be back with, and I'm going to do it with that side as well, right? So I'll take it out as well so we can demonstrate, right? They're just going to slip out really easy, just like that, right? That's how easy these brake pads are to replace, right? Kind of, sort of, but don't go and do it just because you've seen this video. Bada bing, I'll be back with you shortly. I'll go put the grease on. If you want to see how to put the copper grease on, watch our other video. There's one doing the rear brakes. All right, so we've got our copper rees on a little bit under the plate, a little bit on the outside, right? Okay, yeah, you probably do a better job than me, mate. I'm no Rembrandt, but anyway, the one with the wear indicator goes on the inside usually. I say usually, you know, usually. It doesn't really, it's not a, it's not imperative. What's imperative is don't put, put, don't put them in back to front. People put, here you go, this is what we've seen, right? This is the things we've seen in other workshops. We know someone that, you know, breaks plus and all that, right? Brake pads, people will put them in like that, right? I'm not gonna do it because the grease is gonna get on the, uh, the surface of the, uh, rotor there right and that would just create more stupidities right brake surfaces we want to keep clean no grease right this is what i'm talking about there's so much information how can i get it done in 10 minutes right but i'm trying all right i'm doing the quickest version possible so maybe you need to just go look at more videos now because we weren't we didn't keep you happy by fitting it all in one i know some people liked it but you know we're trying to balance it out right so did i put those in the right way in the end and then this one oh i pushed those pins in though so we need that back all right I'll probably do something wrong in this video. It always happens when I do videos is when I'll do something there. Push the pin in just through the pad, right? About halfway with the bottom one. Then we're gonna get that spring out clippy thing, right? Again, I may make it look easy, okay? I've been around, I've done a few of these. So don't think, I might make it look hard because I'm pretty awkward at the moment too, because, and I purposely left the gloves off to show you. Yes, I do get my hands dirty every now and then, right? So, and brakes is the last thing you wanna do that, so. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I've hooked that side in, I've set that up on top. That side's in behind the pin. We just work the pin in like that. The pin's all the way through now. That, this is where the side cutters are good, guys. Not so good with you in the way, but you can just grab them like that and just, you know what I mean? It's just, it, cause it's, you don't want to cut. You're not squeezing hard. It's just holding it really lightly. And then you can manipulate the wire or you can just get your little screw over and just go, it doesn't matter how you do it. As long as you pop that in there, right? It's nearly there. Right, so it's in, right? Just make sure, happy days, right? The idea is that's pushing the pads out at the bottom end, right? They go at the bottom. Sometimes if they're not fitted right, they rub on the disc and they're cut through. Lucky we've got spares there because we seal this sort of thing from when other people have been in. Right, that goes through. Like that, really dangerous because these are going to rattle and fall out and your pads could fall out and then you've got no brakes, right? So what is really important here, again, just use this to twist this around to be the right direction, which is about there. Right, and then this one here, bang, right? That's the configuration. You could probably put it in the, the wrong way, but look, you just put it in the right way, all right? So I'm just awkward here. I'll do it a lot quicker, except, you know, the damn camera's in the way and I haven't turned the wheel, right? So just get that into about an even length at each side, right? Like that. And then pop that clip in. And there's a lot of brake systems like that. That's all back together, guys. What, how do we do? Time wise, I hope you liked it. If you got something out of that, that's R and R front brake pads. There's a little bit more to it if you're changing them, replacing them. There's some other checks you need to do. This is your basic, your first front brake pad video. Back to basics, but a bing. Hopefully, it stops the squeal. Watch for more videos for more detailed changing brake pads, pushing pistons back, even popping pistons out, repairing boots. That's why you subscribe and turn the bell on because eventually we're going to have all that information for you. Been there, done that. It's a matter of when we've got time to do a video. Um, we've got plenty of time for more videos. They're just not all right now. Thanks for watching. That is Bada Bing, Bada Boom. And give us a thumbs up if you got something out of that. Subscribe, bell on. See ya. All right, before we go, your top few precautions for if you are working on this um, and before you get it back together and put on the road, just for the safety perspective, Okay, always make sure you've got really clean the pads and the rotors, right? That's your friction material there. See, the rotor's turning like this, and the pads need to squeeze, right? So make sure the surface of the brake rotor here and the pad there, they're clean, free of any oils, grease, and debris. It will smoke up, burn off, smell, and all that sort of thing, but you can use your cans of brake cleaner to clean that. 
Um, and of course, doing this job, that's one part of it. The other one is just double check all your clips are in, give them a wiggle, make sure everything's happy. Um, you know, bada bing. And the last thing is, of course, when you put your wheels on, don't forget to double check torque your wheel nuts. Make sure they're not over or under tighten. Torque specs 113 newton meters, anywhere from about 100, 110, 120 will do the job. But, you know, as close as you can to 113 is the go. Bada bing, I'm out of here. See ya.